And this week we're going to be doing lesson 24 for our cubbies. And the verse for this week is Mark 1, 17. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. All right, cubbies, do you know what time it is? It's time to see our friend, Cubby Bear. Let's call him together. Are you ready? One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, everyone! Cubby, it looks like you're trying to dry off. How did you get so wet? <laughs> uh, the water splashed on me when Timothy and I were in the boat. <laughs> in the boat? I thought you said Timothy's boat was too small to ride in. Uh, it is. Uh, we were in a, a real boat. <laughs> a real boat? Did Timothy's dad take you out in the fishing boat? Um, not exactly. <laughs> um, we were playing with Timothy's little toy boat by the creek when I saw his dad's fishing boat lying on the shore. I went over to sit in it. I just wanted to see what it felt like to sit in a real boat. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Timothy came over and we started playing a game in the boat. I guess we were moving around too much because soon the boat slid into the water and Timothy and I were in it. I was afraid that that might happen. What did you do? Were you scared? At first I was a little scared. But then I saw a fish swimming close to the boat. I like fish. <laughs> fish are fun to watch. How many fish did you see? Well, let's see. Um, one, two, three. Hey, hey, cubbies. Hey, boys and girls. Yeah. Will you count with me? Yeah. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! We counted twelve fish in all, and we could have counted more. Sometimes I like to catch fish between my paws like this. Catch, 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 catch. But now I'm learning to use a fishing pole. Oh, a fishing pole kind of like this one here, Cubby? That's it, like that one, and this one too. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Okay. <laughs> I caught one. How about you, Cubby? Hey, I caught one. See? Look at this. I caught a fish. Everybody. Everybody you see this? I caught a fish. Yay. <laughs> well, I'm be I am glad that you're becoming a better fisherman, Cubby. But I want to know how you and Timothy got off that boat. Careful not to swing that at me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you should have gone to the creek by yourself. It can be a dangerous place. I know. We got into trouble. I'll tell you what happened next week. I need to share my towel with Timothy because he's wet too. See you later, Cubbies. Happy fishing. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye, Cubby. Bye. 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 All right, is everyone ready to sing our favorite song? Yeah, yeah, song? yeah! Cubby! Cubby! and Timothy saw a lot of fish in the creek today, didn't they? Now we're going to hear about some real fishermen from the Bible. These fishermen were used to seeing lots and lots of fish, but one day they couldn't find any fish at all. Then they met Jesus and something really big happened. So our Bible is open today to Luke 5. In Luke 5, the Bible tells us that Jesus was standing by a lake teaching God's word to a crowd of people. 
they were probably very excited to hear what Jesus had to say because they kept getting closer and closer to him. They got so close to him that he decided to get in a boat, move out into the lake and teach the people from the boat. That boat belonged to a fisherman named Peter. Peter and his fisherman friends had been fishing all night on the lake. Can you imagine staying up all night long to fish? That is a long time. I know I would get very sleepy. Well, even though the friends had fished all night, they didn't catch any fish, not even one. And when daytime came, the fishermen pulled their two boats up to the shore. They washed their nets to put them away. Now Jesus finished teaching and he called to Peter, take your boat out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch. What? Peter probably was probably surprised to hear Jesus say that. Master, said Peter, we fished all night and didn't catch a thing, but I will obey what you say. Peter and his friends climbed into the boat and they rowed out to the deep water and dropped their nets into the sea. Then they felt a huge tug. They heard a loud rip. The nets were so full of fish that they started to break. Come help, they shouted to their friends in the other boat. James and John rowed over to help. All the fishermen worked together to bring the fish from the nets and into the boats. So soon the two boats were so full of fish that they almost sank. The fishermen were amazed at all the fish. They had just been fishing for hours and hours in the same lake but hadn't caught anything. Now their boats were full of fish. Peter knew Jesus had to be a special person to help them catch so many fish. Peter fell down before Jesus and said, I am a sinner. Peter was a sinner, but Jesus was the Savior, the Son of God. Jesus said to Peter, don't be afraid. Now you will catch people instead of fish. Catch people? How do you catch people? Do you use your fishing pole to catch people? Let's see. See if I can catch anybody with my fishing pole. <laughs> hey, look, I caught somebody. No, yeah, that's not going to work. Do you use a net like the fishermen did to catch people? Hey, let's try it. <laughs> hey, I, no, that, that's not going to work either. That won't work. Do you have to maybe run really fast to see if you can catch people? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not going to work. Cubbies, what do you think Jesus meant? Jesus meant that Peter would tell people about the Lord Jesus, the Savior. The Savior is the one who can save them from their sin. And God, God sent, sent the, the Savior. Savior. So Jesus asked Peter and his brother Andrew to help him tell the people. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. Cubbies, have you heard Jesus' words before? There are that? memory verse for the week. Whenever I talk about the people Jesus asked to help him, repeat the verse with me, okay? So, Jesus asked the other fishermen, James and John, to help to help him tell the people. Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Peter, Andrew, James, and John left their fishing boats and their nets. They left everything to follow Jesus. After Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Jesus asked Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas Iscariot to help him tell the people, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. 
These 12 men were called disciples or also apostles, and they traveled everywhere with Jesus. Let's count how many of them there are. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jesus asked many more men and women to help him also. These men and women told people about the Savior, and those people told other people. Now there are many followers, followers of Jesus all over the world, people like you and like me. Jesus says the same words to us. He says, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And we can follow Jesus and be fishers of men. That means we tell others about the Lord Jesus, our Savior. So All let's... right, Cubbies, let's have a prayer. So in Cubbies, when we pray, we fold our hands, we bow our heads, and we close our eyes, and we talk to God. That helps us to remember that we're talking to God, and it helps us not get distracted. So let's pray now. God in heaven, we thank you for this time that we have to learn more about you. We uh, just pray that you would help us to become uh, better fishers of men, that we would tell others about the good news of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We uh, look forward to what you're going to do. We pray that you would please bless and be with all of the cubbies this week, that you would keep them safe wherever they are and whatever they're doing. We pray that uh, all of the cubbies would uh, come to your saving knowledge at a young age. We look forward to what you're going to do, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, cubbies. All right. Have See a good week. See you next time.